Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? It is Uncle Mad. We are in downtown Nashville, about to head to Bridgestone Arena to check out AEW All Elite Wrestling Dynamite. They've come back to Nashville. It's been a little over a year since last time we were, they were here. We're gonna go check them out, but first, food. Now, I'm excited for this because one of my favorite spots that is in a location that's regularly too far for me to hit up, Bellevue West Nashville, has opened a new location here in downtown Nashville, Honey Fire Barbecue. We've done some vlogs there before. Go back, look them up, find them in the past. Maybe I'll put links in the description. I don't know, who knows whatever happens. Try and remember to do it, Uncle Mad. I probably won't. But they've opened a new location at Assembly Food Hall right next to the Bridgestone Arena. So I figured, hey, we're coming down here to see AEW All Elite Wrestling. Let's get some of that delicious Honey Fire Barbecue while we're down here. R.I.P. to the downtown Demos. Every time I walk by here, it makes me sad. All right, so that was a huge bust because the entire south side of Assembly Food Hall, which is where Honey Fire Barbecue is, is closed for a private event. I don't know who's got the uh, swing and D energy to be able to shut down an entire half of this place in the middle of downtown Nashville. I want to go to that party. Like a statue. Someday we'll have a honey one. There's a dude back there with like three fingers up, like looking for three tickets. Like this is a sold out event, like it's not hard to find tickets too. I got my ticket for like $30, like right before I walked over here. And here's a look at the merchandise and I gotta admit, kinda sucks. They don't even have like the Adam Cole, MJF, better than you, Bebe shirt here. Yikes. The tie-dye AEW shirt's all right, but I ain't paying 40 bucks for that. Jesus. All right, so I'm hungry. I was in the mood for barbecue, so we're gonna go with piggy mac and cheese from Puckett's restaurant here at the arena. After Honey Fire let me down. Not their fault, it's, you know, Assembly Hall, book, Assembly Hall booked themselves out, so we'll see. All right, so this is what your $10 piggy mac and cheese looks like. Hmm. Okay, so disappointing the size of it. We'll see how it actually uh, tastes. Looks pretty. I mean, it actually looks good. Uh, it's actually a deeper bowl than I thought it was. There's more food than I thought it was here. Corn apple peas. I lost it all. <laughs> it all fell apart. It's good though. Better than I thought it was gonna be. Still wish I had him on fire. All right, so that was fine, but realistically, it's like whatever. I think I had the same thing when I got the mac and cheese, like loaded with buffalo chicken at the National SC game, where it's like it was too dry on the mac and cheese side. Like they need like keep like a little extra like cheese sauce on the side to top it off with to cheese it up a little bit. I wanted honey fire. All right, I'm still hungry and I love some popcorn, so I'm gonna grab a bottomless popcorn tub. All right, here we go. Quick popcorn review. Four out of 10 kernels. It'll do for snacking, but it is. Probably left over from the season. Editors. All right, so here's our view for the evening. Some Ring of Honor tapings going on before Dynamite goes live. First time AEW's come to the Bridgestone Arena, and you can probably see why. It's early, though. They might fill out a little bit. Time to switch everything over to AEW. And we do have the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre cross promotion night. We got Jeff Jarrett versus Jeff Hardy in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre death match tonight. That's going to be insane. I can't wait for that. I love Jeff Jarrett. Ah! 
go. I don't know how well I can figure out this by the way, but I'm about to watch this match with Chavito, which lets me know that uh, I can get the John Moxley appearance at some point in time. One thing that could be interesting tonight in terms of surprises is G1 Climax has ended now, so any New Japan stars are going to be on All In. It could be interesting to show up tonight. Yuta sucks! Yuta sucks! Yuta sucks! That company. played uh, Osprey's music because did not get the pop his run in deserved. <laughs> you gotta hit these guys' music. The music's where the pop comes from. Play the music first. Play the music for the pop. Making movies. 
change now, and I got a great leading man, which I'm going to get into that in a minute. But first, Fox, this is for you. You better have eyes on the back of your head 24-7 from this moment forward. Why? Well, because we have a coffin match. So the MJF Adam Cole main event for all in is going to be really interesting because obviously they're selling it as a face first face, but something has to happen. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think they want you to think MJF's eventually going to turn on Adam Cole, but I think the whole Roderick Strong in a sad sack and aligning with the Kingdom, Matt Taven and uh, Michael Bennett is going to turn into a new faction with Cole. He's going to turn on MJF. I don't know if he wins the title though, because like the logical next thing after this feud would be for MJF to do a unification match with CM Punk, but. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Texas Chainsaw Death Match is about to happen. I gotta get back to the seats. This is the weirdest match I've ever seen. Time of your life? You get one of those weird, hokey WWE good matches like the Mountain Dew Battle Royale, Blackout Match, or Zombie Match. Turn him on! 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 The crowd is taking too well to nothing going on back there. We're getting to what's happening on the screen. It's so dark. Boys, I think this is. So maybe they're over there. They're like clear the way to come here. It's but slow burn. Here. It's building up to something. Get back to the fucking ring, please. They're really set up for some chaos. They should not have been there. Get here. Come on, Double J, fight back! Do it for Nashville, Double J! This might be the stupidest match in AEW history. This is real bad. Now there's smoke coming out. We have a one-on-one death match between Jeff Hardy and Jeff Jarrett. Smoke's out, at least in the end. There's 50 freaking people in the ring. Bro. 
Presented Double J with a Texas Chainsaw Massacre title belt. That was probably the worst thing I've ever seen in all elite wrestling. between Commander and Ray Phoenix to start off the Rampage portion of the taping. Yeah. Well done, gentlemen. Alright, so for all of Dynamite, I was completely miserable because I was down that away. I had an aisle seat, but an aisle seat, because I was like, you know, if I want to go out, if I want to go to the bathroom, grab something to eat, I want to be on the aisle, usually that's the way to go when you go to a sporting event or a show or something like this. You take the risk, though, because you know if anybody in the middle wants to come out, they're going to have to walk over you. My row, everybody in my row, everybody in the row in front of me decided to use my row to get in and out. I was getting up every two minutes throughout the whole show. Like, after every match, people were getting out, getting out, getting out. It's like, it was... Inside. So for Rampage, stuff's cleared out now. I moved back. I wrote to myself. Anybody tries to walk over me up here, I'll lose my mind. I honestly have ruined my enjoyment of Dynamite with people constantly walking in front of me. Like there's this one guy, one guy who walked out of our row, like no joke, eight times during the show. It's a two hour show. You shouldn't need to get up eight times during a two hour show. Probably should have been up here from the get go. I got a better view from up here anyway. Straight onto the ring. Right on the stage. Yeah, I should have just moved up here a long time ago. If people weren't up there, I don't know if people were up there right here. I moved up here and people aren't walking across me, but this has been the best thing on the show for so far. 
these guys are working hard though, so I think this is actually the best match on the show. Like, like the Young Bucks match, it was like a paint by numbers match, nothing special. Did all their usual spots. It's weird, there's only like really like two, three real matches on Dynamite. There's like a lot of storyline, a lot of build up. They kind of botched the Osprey spot. Like they didn't play his music, he just kind of quietly ran in, nobody knew what was going on. Dynamite was bad. Dynamite was bad. Maybe not bad, but it was not great. gimmick, his catchphrase is your glib, his finishing move is the Scientologizer, this is a ripoff, gimmick infringement, I'm suing AEW, Tony Khan, you have been served. So this little collection of things here, uh, are chanting on John Cruz, but they're not chanting on John Cruz, so I suspect this man is not actually John Cruz, I'm going to say I'm John Cruz. Seven, that was quick, five. as you expect from the guy who got I need to do a little bit more research. I think they were chanting, let's go Wolfie. I think that guy might have been a local national independent wrestling legend. Wolfie D. I might be completely wrong about that. All right, I can't confirm whether or not that was Wolfie D, but it sounded like they were chanting, let's go Wolfie. To make the set most sense, that's why you'd have your most local talent get a big pop. We got a ladies tag team match to close out Rampage and there will be, they said there's going to be a bonus ring of honor match afterwards. And this is a much better setup than I had earlier where I was trying to walk over me to get in and out of the aisle every single freaking match. I'll probably say this every time I ever do any kind of video where I'm actually in downtown Nashville, but I will never get used to Nashville being like this on a Wednesday freaking night. It's wild. I live in downtown Nashville in like circle like 2008. And I used to go for like night runs down Broadway because it would be so empty and it was lit up well, but it was empty. Not anymore. I hate downtown Nashville. All right, so that's going to do it for our night out to go see AEW Dynamite. Got off to a bad start when we tried to go to Honey Fire at Assembly Food Hall and found out that half of Assembly Food Hall was closed for a private event. Continued to be bad with that terrible Texas Chainsaw death match between my boy Jeff Jarrett. Embarrassing use of him. Continued to be bad with people like constantly having to walk over me like I feel like I'm being like a little bit of a, 
a turd on this one, but I mean like, you should not need to get up from your seat more than once or twice in a two hour period. And the people in my row were getting up five, six times throughout the night. But after that ended, it was sweet. It was like the Rampage match, Commander versus Ray Phoenix was incredible. Ring of Honor was fun. Once I got that kind of space and kind of spread out and just hang out, it was great. Would have loved to have stayed longer and like watched more of the Ring of Honor matches and supported the wrestlers that were still going out there and doing their thing, but it's so late. And I understand why they do that that way. They got the building booked. They want to get as many matches taped as they can, but uh, it's late. So we got to go home. We got to go to bed. I mean, we were, <laughs> I was at Joe's Park till like one o'clock in the morning last night. I'm running on fumes as it is, so. We'll be back there Saturday. The GOAT. The GOAT, quote-unquote, depending on who you ask. Messi's coming to town. We'll be there Saturday night for that match. All kinds of other stuff coming up on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell turned on for notifications. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one. I hope I can find my car. Stay tuned. If there's no vlogs ever again in the future, it means I didn't find my car. But I think I know where it is. To be continued. God, I was handed these flyers as I was walking out of the show. Not necessarily something I'm going to do, but if you're interested in training to wrestle, shut up and bump. Training and Performance FXE Wrestling Academy in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check that out. Also, you want to see a cool indie show? Summer Glory, August 19th. Gate time, 7. Bell time, 8. At the Troubadour Theater in Nashville, Tennessee. I almost would go to this, but like for whatever reason, like our indie shows here don't get like the level of indie talent that comes to like other shows. Like, I'm sure all these guys are good and everything like this. I'm sure there's like some like dude here that's like super good or one of these girls is awesome. But like, how do we get the king of the indies, Matt Cardona, here? I don't know. Go to this if you want to see, see, see some indie wrestling. Oh, lost the camera. Go here if you want to train to be a wrestler. I'm too old for this. I could probably be a manager or a ref or something like that, but I ain't doing any bumps at this point in time.